Today, I'm going to show you a very interesting tuning system that was used in old car radios. It's called permeability tuning. In this system, the frequency isn't adjusted by turning a capacitor. Instead, it's tuned by sliding a ferrite rod in and out of the coil. As the ferrite moves, it changes the magnetic permeability of the coil, which changes its inductance, and that shift moves the resonant frequency of the entire circuit. It's a simple idea, but surprisingly accurate. And that's why it was used in so many compact and vibration-prone car radio designs. Looser winding means lower capacitance, a wider tuning range, and more effective tuning with the ferret rod. I'm starting to assemble my FM receiver using the TA2003 and the LM386. The TA2003 handles all the tuning and IF stages, and the LM386 boosts the audio. With just a few parts and low voltage, this turns into a simple but powerful FM radio. I repurposed two of these old permeability tuned coils and hooked them up to a TA2003 radio IC. One coil works as the antenna tuning coil and the other serves as the oscillator coil. The TA2003 is basically a tiny radio module by itself because it includes the RF tuner, the IF filter and the detector all inside one chip. It needs only a few external components, which makes it perfect even for beginners. For the audio output, I added an LM386. Both the TA2003 and the LM386 run smoothly on just 4 to 5 volts. So with three small batteries, you get a fully functional, low-power radio. I'm putting the permeability tuned coils together with the FM receiver board now. The ferrite controlled coils handle the tuning and the TA2003 takes care of all the RF and IF work. Piece by piece, it's turning into a clean, compact FM radio. After placing the components, I trim the excess leads to keep the board clean. Then I solder each joint with a solid, shiny connection. Clean cuts and good soldering make the circuit reliable. The permeability-tuned circuit is ready, and I'm testing it now. The ferret tuning feels smooth, and the receiver locks onto stations cleanly. It's great to see this classic tuning method come alive again. Oh, uh -huh. 